Hey everyone, how's it going? NordBM here. Somebody asked me if I could create a video on, on how to install Next.js. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to create a short tutorial on how to install Next.js. Now, I almost said Node.js because you definitely will need Node.js in order to install Next.js in Visual Studio Code. So that was the specific requirement to show it in Visual Studio Code. Because, because I could also type in here terminal and do everything from the terminal but i'm not going to do that uh, basically because either you have windows or mac it's a bit different well the commands are different and uh, in in visual studio code is basically always the same so first things first you should have node.js installed how do you check if you have node.js installed uh first of all you're going to open the terminal so you can either go up and open the terminal from file from just create your terminal or hold down control and tilde and this should open down here the terminal okay also in the options from visual studio code you should see the terminal now i did create a folder here code so just create a folder whatever you want to call it on the desktop and drag and drop it in here but as always create a specific folder called projects and put all your projects in there that's best practice okay let's get straight to the installation process first let's check if you have node Installed. So I'm going to node space dash v, and this is going to tell us what version of node we have installed. Due to the fact that Next.js requires 18 or higher, we're going to install now Node.js. For this, we're going to go to nodejs.org, and we're going to download here the Node.js LTS edition. Okay, so let's click here on download Node.js. Just save it wherever you want to save it. Okay, now let's go ahead and install Node.js. Very simple. Continue. Continue. I agree with your license. Install. Type in here my password. And just after a couple of seconds, you should see Node.js installed. Okay, now here's your latest version. Let's close this up. Let's now type in again node-v. I think I also have to restart this. Uh, yes, it would be better to restart. No, there we go. It already recognized that we now have version 22.11. Uh, okay, also, you need npm. So also do it's npm-v and you should see that you have the version 10.9. Now where do you install npm? It was already installed when you installed Node.js. Also if you want to have a more deeper tutorial on how to install Node.js, just check out everything in the video description. Also the links to everything is down in the video description. Okay, next step, let's install Next.js. For this, the command will be npx, just like in React, space, now create, dash next, dash app, I'm just going to T there, dash app, and add latest, in order to have the latest version. Now, there's two possibilities here. Either you hit enter, don't hit enter right now, or you do a space and type in a name. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you the entire process. So let me drag this up here. After you hit enter, installation process will start. And now you're going to ask you a couple of packages. So first of all, do you want to create next app? yes of course so let's type in yes a y now what should the project be named i'm just going to name it my project would you like to use typescript you can choose yes or no i'm going to choose no for now would you like to use eslint yes or no choose whatever you need i'm going to choose no for now would you like to use tailwind css if you don't know tailwind css i'm creating a course on tailwind css i also have a couple of tutorials i'm going to choose uh you know what uh, yes let's let's me just show you what it's going to look like Okay, would you like to your code to be stored in a source directory? And of course, I'm going to choose yes. Uh, would you like to use the app router? This is exactly like React router. If you learn React, you maybe heard about React router. So I'm going to choose yes. Would you like to use Turbo Pack? No. Would you like to customize your imports? Now you can customize your imports if you choose yes here, but I'm going to go with no. Okay, so this is going to install all the dependencies. I'm going to create a separate folder as you can see here, my app. I would have chosen another name and also it's pretty important to note that you need to use lowercase and dash and hyphen for the name you cannot use uppercase you cannot use anything that starts with a number at the uh, at the beginning so you must only use lowercase letters okay so everything is installed now first thing that we're going to do we're going to cd so change directory because we're outside of our directory we're going to cd here and if you hit tab normally on windows or pc it's going to show you all of the directors but because you have only one so i'm going to go into my app now due to the fact that we are in our app we can now start the application and for this we need to 
run the application and it's basically just like it was well, different than react but it's just like vid in react you will npm start but here we're going to npm run dev because this is a development environment okay so after just a couple of seconds you should see that next.js and the version that you just installed is running and you can now open it up by holding down control and clicking on this locals 3000 or just type using opening up a browser and going to localhost 3000 and you should see your next.js app up and running okay and what i wanted to show you so this is your app click around here what i wanted to show you is how this app looks when it's installed using tailwind css so if you go to any kind of for example page here or layouts you're going to see a bunch of tailwind code already added in your classes okay so without it you wouldn't see it so hope you enjoyed this video that's pretty much it for me please like and subscribe catch you next time have a lovely day happy coding bye bye